Right then, leaving Piney Slights Farm. Real Bear Warren right over there. Area of Outstanding Beauty right up on the top there. Where I was over that way more today. Um, the Aerial Moss right on the hill there. Farmer Busy. I don't know if they've got cows out yet. Uh, it's more exposed up here. It could be that they wait a bit longer. The sheep are busy. Lots of lambs. I can see wild goats. I can see cheddar goats. They're out. And um, I just thought I'd do a small video going back across the fields. Sometimes deer can be seen. Um, like I say, Longwood right over there, which I will make a special visit there. First or second week in May, which isn't far off. It's too early yet, it's too cold, I know that it, they won't be ready. Um, I can see a few people on the top of the gorge there, in the distance. Cheddar Gorge, which I can zoom into briefly. Um, I can't see what I'm doing though. But Cheddar Gorge is sort of over there. Possibly with people on it. I'm just using two cameras today. I keep going for the viewfinder and of course it hasn't got one. I'm hoping it's alright. I've got no idea. I've got the other one in my pocket on charge. On the battery charger. Both of quite knackered my one camera is sort of broken really but it does work occasionally once it gets going it'll work um, once it gets going right so we've got to go across these fields I can see loads of goats loads of them must be several hundred goats over, over there Several hundred. Um, I'll zoom in a bit. Like I said, I can't see what I'm doing when I'm zooming with this camera. But over there somewhere, there's goats. I'm having to guess where they are. Not very, it's not very good at all, really. It's not very good. It's not very good for zooming. I've walked across this field many times. Sometimes it has really beautiful wild grasses and flowers when it, that'll come, I'm sure. Um, if there are cows, I know I have an alternative route that I take, but at the moment I can't see any because the goats are taking over the whole area where, where the, usually the cows would be. Uh, unless the cows are right over, they could be a long way over. Um, but I don't think, I can't see any, but it's still, I reckon if they're going to have them out, it's going to be very soon. We just need um, a little bit more warm weather. It has been quite nippy. And we've had some early morning frosts. So I should imagine the next time I come out, which could easily be in a week's time because I've only done a little bit of uh, looking. And uh, But I'm still enjoying every minute of it. I love it. I love the air, I love the beauty, I love the peace. Oh, I just love it. Can't wait to get over there and over there. You know, when you're on a bus timetable, you are restricted. You really are. I've had to run down the steep, rocky gorge area once to uh, get my bus. I've had to run down through the the windy gorge road as well with Wellington boots on on another time when I wanted to get for my bus. I've done more busing than even when I had my van. I would often bus because to be quite honest the bus 
did its job. But it could be late sometimes. You could get anxious. You could get freezing waiting for it. But um, it did get you over here. It didn't cost me anything because I've got a bus pass. So, you know, you get out here. This is free. So you, you get over here for free. You bring your own food. I haven't been very hungry today. I mean, I've had... Um, if I had one packet of round cheeselet things, I've had uh, a Galaxy chocolate and a Kit Kat. Um, I'm hoping to have a bit of cheese. I've got cheese and tomato in the little container. Um, I'll just show you. In here, I've got my cheese and tomato. And I've still got a packet of crisps. That is like a meal. If I get really hungry, that's like my dinner. Um, and I've got an orange. I've got some fruit cake. I never come out without enough. I and to be quite honest, I, sometimes I I don't even touch me me lunch. I take it with me in case I feel like it. I usually have a bit of chocolate, an orange, water, and, and maybe a packet of crisps. I used to bring more in that out, you know. I used to bring jam sandwiches and things like that. Boiled eggs are nice. Um, or scotch eggs. Yeah, this is the walk-in season. Well, I walk all year round, but because of the COVID, I have obeyed the rules. And I've stayed at home a lot. When I say stayed at home, I haven't come out over this way. I heard about a woman, she'd driven from Bristol, I think, her and her friend, and they just were, they got out to buy an ice cream, and when they were going back to the car, I think she got a thousand pound fine. Now, I think they've got to use her common sense a piece a bit, but of course it was really to warn people, this is what will happen if you, because apparently you can be put away for 15 years if they think you're going to spread the plague so I've walked right up the other side of those woods there like don't forget up through the valleys in and out the trees spoke to a little m sheep and their lambs I haven't done that side yet today I'm behind with lots and lots of walks that I normally do I'm um, five months really of um not doing what I normally do in the winter months is all not happened. I've just mainly kept to my wood um, uphill and sand bay. Those have been my areas which are sort of within my home ground. Um, so it's not, uh, it's been all right. I mean, we cope. We found little walks I never knew existed. Just going to put that there while I get over it. Yeah, you, when, when you've got to look round, you find other little paths. You think, oh, where is that going to go? Why don't I try that? I'll tell you what, the cows are either over there. Let me... I can't really dip, do it with this, but that's either cows right over there or more flipping wild goats right over there. Because I can't see with the camera, I can't see anything when I zoom. That's, that's, that's either black cows or the more goats. I reckon they're goats. Lots of them. No sign of cow pack. That's usually that's usually the sign. I mean, I've got alternatives. I go through there sometimes, but cool, cows can be all the way down that way as well. There's always a risk, whatever you do. But they've got like habits, cows. I think they roam off down there early in the morning, come back, then they start migrating down that way. 
I don't know what this is going to turn out like everyone. I don't even know if it's working. Is it the, it's the sort of camera where you can't tell. There's no light. But I thought I'd use it and there's more video footage to do. But it is a different time of year. It's 2021. Even though I've done this for the last 12 years, several times, I've never done it in 2021. I know when I knew I was going to cut back, I, God, there's loads of wild goats. Hundreds of them. Yeah, I knew when I was going to cut back, I did the last hike over this way was a big one, including Velvet Bottom, all the way along the top. I can't remember where I went after that, whether I went, I don't think I did Row Barrow. I don't think I went that far. I think I came, yeah, Velvet Bottom along the top, down Longwood, and then back through here. Yeah, I didn't do much of Longwood. in the uh, autumn. Now I need to get out and do at least one of these sort of walks, if not two, a week. Because I used to run marathons, you see, and you get that chemical that you need, that makes you want to do it. I can't remember what you call that now, but it's, um, it stimulates you to get out and uh, run, run, jog, walk. I still got it in me. And you feel deprived if you, if you, if you don't do it. God, it looks like it's been mowed up here, doesn't it? That's not a cow packing sign. So there's lots of tire marks. I reckon they've mowed it. Maybe they're not, perhaps, perhaps the cow will die out. I mean, Chris knows what's happening. Right, nearly at the top, we're coming to be able to see the Axbridge Reservoir in a minute. And quite often up this way, you get the big goats, big billy goats like to dominate this area. You get all the females, loads of them, look. Hundreds and hundreds of goats. I don't think there's any cows. What a lovely scene. Oh, what a lovely feeling. When I'm lying in bed tonight, I'm going to think back at this moment in time, standing here, enjoying this beautiful place in peace. It's beautiful. You come over the top. I don't know what, how this little camera's working. You come over the top, look. And now you've got the reservoir, you've got Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak in the distance there. Mendip Racing people over there. Pine, um, Robert Warren. Area of outstanding beauty. All the way round to Longwood, Velvet Bottom. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just wondering if people are keeping away from this area, you know. It feels totally dead. If you, you know, dead of people, I mean. There were people in the wood. There were kids on horses. There were kids on mountain, and men on mountain bikes. There were families with their little children hopping and skipping and laughing and screaming and whatever. Um, the odd couple, you know, man and woman, man, woman and baby, dogs, a couple of dogs. I can't even see any cows in that field. And they do have them in there, a lot. 
Maybe they're going to do something else. It all looks very, very regimental, doesn't it? Mode almost. Right, I'm going to turn off for now. Take some pictures. Over and out.